Hi everyone, my name is Marisa and I am a social worker and assistant researcher at the University of Applied Sciences, Northwestern Switzerland. Today I am going to share my experience with self-organization, specifically about the transformation process. In our study, we found out that a lot of people were not very satisfied with the transformation process. And we think there are two main reasons for that. Reason number one is that the employees get surprised with that decision. 37% of the people in our study said that the management made the decision without consulting them. Another 11% said that they don't have a clue when, who or why the decision was made. The management, on the other hand, is probably very excited to inform their employees about the decision and they expect the employees to be really happy about it. But in reality, the employees are just one step behind. They did not have the chance yet to get to know the idea of self-organization because they don't even know much about it. Reason number two is that the management sometimes oversells self-organization as a solution for existing difficulties or only focuses on the idea that everybody will benefit from it. But the employees might be well aware that a change process like this might not be as easy as promised and that it is maybe not proven enough that self-organization does have a positive impact on the employees. Those reasons could mean that the employees are skeptical about the, tra about the transformation. They might suspect employer branding or profit orientation. The solution is that the management is fully transparent about the reasons and goals of the transformation. It is important to communicate as early as possible so they can start developing a vision together and start the transformation process. The transformation process usually takes longer than expected and it will be quite time consuming, especially at the beginning. Most people don't really like big changes, especially in unstable times. So employees cannot be expected to plan and go through this process of change without reasonable resources. It is not something that just magically happens next to the daily work business. The people in charge need to make sure that there is enough time for planning and reflection. It is also important to keep in mind that even people who are fond of the idea of self-organization sometimes struggle to let go of old structures and roles. The social processes should not be underestimated, especially when things are not going very well because people tend to blame that on self-organization. During these times, it becomes clear that a change process like this is only possible when there already is a good amount of trust. This helps to not point with fingers on people who have difficulties with the change, but rather be empathetic and ask what they need to feel more secure. And this could happen to really anybody, either leaders who feel the need to take back control or employees who just feel overwhelmed and want to go back to the way it was before. But once those irritations in the process are addressed, something interesting happens. People start to change and they develop new ideas how they could improve the organization. And maybe those ideas were not expected, intended, or even wanted. For example, they think a four-day work week might be a really good idea, or they ask for wage transparency. Another example would be in Switzerland, the fathers only get 10 days of paid paternity leave. So in Switzerland, men might come up with the idea that they want more paid paternity leave because it would really be needed for equality. I actually think that this is the critical moment because it defines the beginning of self-organization and democracy at the workplace. So my advice would be to embrace that change even if you don't necessarily like all those ideas, because otherwise it will make the employees 
think that it is really about employer branding and not about self-organization. So the reaction to those democratic ideas and self-organized structures will determine if this moment actually marks the start of self-organization. Thank you very much for listening.